Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use X-ray goggles from mouse.org to see the code behind any web page and to modify what appears on the page as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So we have the X-ray goggles little bookmarklet, and we're just going to drag it up into the bookmarks bar. And there we have X-ray goggles. And now let's go to any article on the web. Let's say this one here about Jack Dorsey stepping down as chief executive of Twitter. And I'm going to now click on X-ray goggles. And when I click on X-ray goggles, we'll see this new menu over here on the left hand, on the bottom right corner. And I can highlight any section. Let's click on that section. And now we'll see the code that's behind that and we can actually change what appears on the page and we'll leave this part here as twitter founder jack dorsey steps down as chief chief executive we're going to change that to because he's hashtag tired and hashtag richer than rich. So now we have our new headline and let's update it. So there we have that. Now let's quit out of this for a second and we'll see that the headline is still there. If I wanted to give this to my students to see if they can read through the article and tell if the headline is true or not, I'm going to now just print out that page. Just hit control P and print it out. And we'll see the printed copy is going to have that headline that I have written. Now, we can go back to using x-ray goggles again, and we can change out other elements. Let's say I want to change out the text within here. Well, again, just use that selection tool. And we can go in and change any of this text right here and write it in a different way. Twitter co-founder to retire and focus on his hobby of growing watermelons on the moon. So now I have that new sentence right there. And we can also go here and click on the image. And if we want to insert a new image, we could change out this source here and put in an entirely new picture by changing out that source. And so if I wanted to go and get a picture, Let's say I want to get a picture from pixabay.com and we'll get a picture of a watermelon. There's a picture of my watermelon. Let's right click, copy that image address. And I'm now going to paste that in here. And now I have a picture of a watermelon in the article that I'm now going to print out and give to my students. So now we see the new article headline, Twitter founder Jack Dorsey steps down because he's tired and he's going to retire and focus on his hobby of growing watermelons on the moon. And we have that picture there of the watermelon as well. So that's how you can use X-ray goggles from mouse.org. It's a fun way to look at what's behind a web page and modify the version that you see on your computer. I should point out, you can do the same thing using the inspect tool in Google Chrome, but the X-ray goggles bookmarklet makes it a little bit easier to do. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.